Hello, in this video, we are going to look at the Shopware's Rule Builder module. This module allows you to define rules that you can use to customize various settings and features. For example, if you want to limit a particular shipping method for certain countries, you can use the options and conditions in the Rule Builder to limit this shipping method for specific countries. The Rule Builder module is located under settings in admin. Once you go into the module, there is the overview and you can see the rules already created by default. It's possible to show and hide the columns using the context menu just next to them. And it's also possible to sort the columns accordingly. You can move up and down the columns and you can add additional columns to the overview as you want, like tags, product price assignments, shipping method, price assignments, etc. On the right hand side, you can use the filter option to filter the rules according to condition types, conditions, assignments, and tags if applicable. Before diving deep into the area where I will explain how to create a rule, how to assign it and then delete it, let's have a look at the components of the rules and what they consist of. So to show this, I'm going to go ahead and select one of the default rules in the list. So a rule consists of general information and conditions. Conditions decide whether a rule applies during the evaluation or not. In the mask of a rule, the first thing is the name of the rule. We need to first give a name to the rule and then next to it set the priority. We should define the priority to determine in which order rules are applied when more than one rule applies. For example, 2 is set here as the priority. A rule with priority 2 is applied before a rule with priority 1, but after a rule with priority 3. Underneath, you find the description. You can, this is optional. You can uh, add a description here to be understandable for all the users using the admin. And under that, there is the type where you can define and limit the assignment possibilities of your rule. Just next to it, you can add a tag, enter a tag for the rule and use this, as I showed before, to um, use as a filter in the overview of the rules in admin. Once you are done with all the necessary general information of the rule, you can skip to the next part, which is the condition. This is essential and where it is determined whether the condition rule uh, will be applied or not. So under condition, we have um, um, several boxes as well. So the, the first one where we set the parameter as the condition is uh, we can select from the list here where it's classified and grouped in certain titles. For example, to show you a couple of them, I'm going to type total. And as you can see under customers, we have one parameter including total. And we have another um, grouped item, which is called items in shopping cart and another one marketing and promotions. So let's select one of them. For example, we're going to select subtotal of all items next to that we have the operator and depending on the condition selected here we have various operators since this is subtotal of all items and the numeric value um, the equal to greater than or less than operators are displayed here i'm going to go ahead and select is greater than operator here and the next bo box we should enter an input value uh, that uh, will be applied in the rule. So 50 input value 
if the subtotal of all items is greater than 50 rule will be applied we can add another or or end conditions uh, depending on your selection and uh, we also have the possibility to add subconditions as well subconditions are created automatically when you switch between end and or connections when multiple connections are linked with end all conditions must be fulfilled for the rule to apply if several conditions are linked with or only one condition must be fulfilled for the rule to apply let's go ahead and add another old condition here and select billing address country from the list so as you will see here the select operator part displays another operators um, are different to the uh, previous one so this is not a numeric value and the countries are either uh, they are existing or none of the countries are there in the field or another option is the field is empty so I will select is one of and click on the box next to it the countries already registered in the system are listed here we can select select one or more countries and apply the condition here once you have done with all the conditions all the operators and input values you can save the rule by clicking on the save and switch the assignments in order to assign this to one or more uh, uh, rules in the system for example shipping method availability rules you can add assignment once you click you can see the list under the shipping method availability rules standard is already assigned we can select express additionally and add this as the assignment you can then click save again in order to save um, the rule and um, i'm going to go back to the general and show you one more um, option how you can delete the conditions on the condition you can uh, delete all the conditions by clicking on delete all conditions here um, you can delete a container this is a container grayed out and also it's possible to create within the container another condition and select it uh, to be sorted before or after before moving on with the creation of new rules i want to show you another mode that you can activate under the condition so it's called preview mode preview mode allows you to verify that your rule works as you intend this mode checks conditions in real time so it's especially effective to use it while building your rule let's go ahead and effect, uh, activate this and we should uh, then select one of the orders from the list to see if this rule turns true or false so it seems to be true and turns green but if we scroll down a little bit we see that one of the conditions only return true and the other one false as we used or linked between the conditions it is sufficient that one condition is fulfilled for the order and rule to return true so if your rule contains conditions that query a specific point in time you can simulate the this point in time using the time and date option here let's see how it works in practice so i'm gonna just save this rule first and add another all condition and select um, time related time range condition as you can see the operator is um, the two time ranges so i'm gonna select one of them 12 o'clock and the other one is um, 15 
and save the rule here. So if you go ahead and activate the preview mode again, we select the order from the list. And as you can see, we can also simulate time and date by selecting one of the uh, dates in the, um, time in order to see if this rule in this specific time range will return true or false. In order to create a new rule in admin, we should um, go to settings. That is one of the ways to do it straight away. In the settings, go to the rule builder. And in the overview, um, you can click on create rule and uh, fill the mandatory fields here. First of all, we have to enter a name for the rule and then set the priority. Um, description type and tags are optional here, not mandatory fields. So I'm going to just keep them for um, the moment. And under conditions, we have to um, uh, select at least one of the conditions and input uh, and uh, select specify an input value. So, for example, select um, from the list customer, for example, is active. So this is a question, a yes or no question. So we'll have the operator of yes and no. For example, if you select yes, in order to assign this rule, we have to first save it and go to the assignments tab and um, assign this to, for example, one of the payment methods listed in the system. So I can select one of them or a couple of them, just click add and then save the rule again. Just keep in mind that rules cannot be deleted as long as they are assigned and deleted rules cannot be restored. There are other ways where you can create new rules in admin as well. So one of them is the, uh, the promotions area. As an example, um, let's see how this is done under the promotions. So under marketing, we have the promotions. And once you click, you can see all the promotions here in the overview, uh, but yet we don't have any. So let's go ahead and create a new one. So I want this promotion to be applied for the new customers uh, and give the name new customers accordingly, set a priority. And we should first activate the promotion in order to fulfill other uh, conditions and discounts tabs. So once it's activated, we can see the conditions and discounts as well. Um, just switch the conditions tab and scroll down a little bit. We have the customer rules here. Once you click on the box, you can see all, all the applicable um, the listed rules. But you have another option as well. If you want to go for another new rule, you can just click on the create new rule. So the mask is similar to what we have used in settings rule builder and the same mandatory fields apply here. So for this new rule, I'm going to select again the new customer's um, name, um, set a priority, let's say 20. And then as the condition, I will select from the list new customer. So this is a yes or no query. So if uh, the customer is a new customer, uh, this promotion should be applied. So the yes operator is selected. I'm just going to save this. And you have additional another option that you want to add. If the new customer, for example, place an order with the total value of uh, more than uh, greater than 50, uh, you can add another rule here uh, by clicking um, the select shopping cart rules uh, and again create new rule. So um, value greater than 50, we say, and we should um, give a priority. And from the list, just scroll further down to the shopping cart rules. And you can select total from the list. 
So the operator as this is a numerical value will uh, bring uh, more operators um, options is less than is greater than we want uh, the customers uh, with the value placed order more than 50. So the input value should be 50 here and just save this. So the new customer's promotion will be applied uh, when both conditions and rules return true. Um, if it's a new customer and the new customer place an order with, uh, with a value of greater than 50. So I'm just going to write and save um, the promotion here. So another way that um, uh, is used for creating the new rules is the price of the products. So under catalogs and products, if you go into uh, one item listed in the products, we switch to the advanced pricing here. And as you can see, there is no advanced prices set yet. We can select one of the conditions here um, to be applied for the advanced pricing. But we want a new rule to be created and applied here. So I click on the create new rule and give a name, for example, for the um, standard group. I want uh, this pricing to be applied only for the standard customer group. And give a priority here. And as the condition parameter from the list, I want to select, let's say, customer and look for the customer group. Uh, yeah, it's there. So the customer group, uh, uh, the operator will be is one of them or is, uh, or is none of them. So I want uh, the standard customer group uh, customers uh, have advanced pricing for this specific product. So I'm going to select that as the input value standard customer group from the list. And before exiting, just save the rule here. So we have one rule applied for the advanced pricing for this product and uh, we can set the price uh, lower or greater than as you wish for this advanced pricing. So the price will be applied uh, if the customer is one of the customer group customers and this price will be applied. You can set also the other list price and cheapest prices as well. It's also possible to add additional pricing rules by clicking on the add pricing rule. If you are done with all the conditions and rules, just click on save before exiting. So promotions, catalog products and uh, payment shipping methods are um, some of the areas that you can create new rules, use the rule builder as the conditions according to your business. Um, if you want to uh, see all the list uh, of the uh, conditions under customers, um, shopping carts, promotions, just check our shopware documentation for further uh, reference.